Guys, today I will show you how to make this amazing lab bench power supply with USB and variable output from 1 to 30 volts with both voltage and current control. For this you need following components. DC volt and amp meter. Pair of 5 volt DC fan. Two pairs of these terminal connectors. Pair of flat USB ports 3 pin mid off switch Pair of 10K multi turn potentiometers LM2596 step down module Another 300 watt 10 ampere step down module And make this board that I made on zero PCB It has fuse for output negative also input for this LM7805 voltage regulator. These two outputs for fan and this for volt ampere meter. Circuit diagram for this board. Download link is in video description. I designed and printed enclosure for this project using 3D printer. And it came as awesome as this. If you don't have 3D printer, just visit jlcpcb.com. Click on order now. Then click on 3D printing, and upload 3D files I provided, download link is in video description. Choose 9000R resin option, and select as enclosure, and save to cart for checkout. Now take this module and we need to the solder these two potentiometers, and also these connectors. Here I pulled them out from the board. As you can see, here is pin 1, pin 2 pin 3 of voltage adjustment potentiometer and here is pin 1 pin 2 pin 3 of current adjustment potentiometer and here is dc input positive here dc input negative here dc output negative and here is dc output positive now take the enclosure back part and mount this module using m3 5 mm screws now take this LM2596 module and connect DC 30 volts on input and connect multimeter on output. Use screwdriver to adjust output voltage at 5 volts. Connect everything according to the circuit diagram. Download link is in video description. Now our assembly is complete and I arranged the wires and closed the lathe. I also 3D printed knobs for these potentiometers, download link is in video description. Use these male part of terminal connectors to make output probes. 
I recommend to use 2 to 4 mm wires for output and solder like this. I used these alligator clips as testing ends, so that it will be easy to connect with loads. Solder the wires like this. Now our testing probes is ready for output. Use another pair for DC input. For testing I will connect input DC using these clips. Switch to upwards, is USB on. Switch to mid is off. Switch to downwards, is output supply on. You can adjust voltage output from about 1 to 30 volts. For testing let's set output on 12.1 volts. I use this 12 volt blubber's load. With this knob you can adjust the output current. You may notice on decreasing the current, voltage also shows decrease, it is because when there is not enough current, the load will drop voltage. It will get back to set voltage if I disconnect load. And on increasing the current, the voltage will get back to the set value and max current the load draws is about 2.9 amperes. In second test let's set it on 14 volts. I used it to charge 12 volt lead acid battery. In third test let's set voltage to 7 volts. I also used it to charge 6 volt battery. And as you can see everything works awesome. For more useful videos, subscribe the channel. Also check out these recommended videos. Thanks for watching.